as a single parent, you don't often think about having your finances in order. You think about parenting. But how do single parents survive financially? So although money can't buy happiness, it's still a really important part of our life. The lack of support from the second parent can make your financial life even more challenging. Even if you receive alimony or child support, it's often not enough to cover needs and mandatory expenses. To make it possible to survive financially, single parents should follow some certain steps. Change your financial behaviors, reduce expenses, start budgeting. Change your financial habits. Avoid going into debt unless it's an emergency. You should really try to live within your means. Try new budgeting methods. This is the new you now, right? So we're trying new concepts sometimes. So financial planning is critical to surviving being a single parent. Whether you give each dollar a name, it will help you avoid spending or buying unnecessary items. Name your dollars. I know that sounds so silly, but make $100 or whatever your grocery budget is, the grocery dollars. And then at the end, see how much you have left for some of those extras that we don't necessarily need right away. The other thing is cut off some of your expenses. Not all expenses and categories can be cut down. Single parents really have a lot that you have to pay for and sacrificing. The quality of your life is not always the best idea. What if we move somewhere maybe more affordable? Sometimes finding more affordable housing can help you save a significant amount of money monthly. Consider ways to increase your income. Although you may have a lot to think about and thinking about as a single parent, there's still options that you can do to try to earn some more money. Some of them don't even require you to leave your home. When you set a financial goal, the most important thing to do is stick to it. You'll be more motivated and more more focused when you know what are you doing this for. Besides thinking about your rent payment and your grocery bills, which are really critical expense categories, you also really need to set that clear short-term and long-term financial goal. This way it's going to be easier for you to determine what you need to start reaching those goals. Start investing. Many people think it's impossible to invest money on a low budget. However, $20 or $50 saved each month can really help you build and work toward that wealth over time if you know how to make your money work for you. Bottom line, single parent families are often in vulnerable positions in terms of financial aspects. However, there are several tips on how to survive financially on a single income if you follow those tips. You can raise your family without falling into poverty 